Hi, this is Scott Herkus of Max Muscle Quad Cities with locations in Moline and Bettendorf. We are happy to bring you this Illawa FCA story. Ready, hit. The Pleasant Valley Spartans ran the table in 2012 on their way to the MAC Championship. That was a squad loaded with senior talent. But on offense especially, the Spartans aren't exactly rusty. Brady Letney is back at quarterback, taking snaps from All-Stater Landon Carney, who anchors a strong offensive line. We lost some great kids last year. Uh, we got some great ones back this year as well. And, uh, you know, that's high school football, Dan. They kind of come and go. And, and um, you know, those guys, you know, put a nice stamp on Pleasant Valley football history. Um, but I think these guys that we got going now are eager to, to kind of leave their mark. We've got some experienced kids, some veterans, and uh, mixed in with some, some, um, some new kids. And, um, but I think, you know, we, we've worked hard, and you know, like every other team. But so I feel good about the kids that we got. Um, Certainly offensively, we've got some key members of our team from last year back, and then we got some newbies on the defensive side of the ball, mm -hmm. but I think they'll be more than capable of getting the job done. Mm -hmm. Are they a year better, the ones that saw experience last year? You feel like, oh. boy, they've really progressed. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, uh, probably more so they're, they're bigger, faster, they're stronger. Um, they've taken on more of that leadership role, a little more knowledge of the game knowledge of the offense, those types of things. Um, I think, you know, th those are uh, things that they've improved, uh, improved in, you know, our quarterback, our offensive line, um, some of our running backs, those, those types of things. But, uh, you know, I look back at last year and I don't try to dwell on previous years because sometimes that leads into, you know, people saying, oh, last year wasn't the year. Well, you know, those were seniors last year that it was important to them. So I try not to dwell on those types of things too much and trying to look at the positives and certainly had a lot of positives last year. But, uh, you know, going into last year, we had a lot of question marks exactly. too. And we got a lot of question marks this year as well. And those are good because um, when a kid, I feel, feels like they're questioned a little bit or they got a question mark on them, hey, they want to go out there and prove themselves. I think it's going to be really important for our offense to be on top of things because we, we, we're a lot of returning starters. And our defense, you know, we're a little newer. So they're going to have to feel things out and our offense is definitely going to have to be behind them full force this year. Yeah. Talk about the balance, like what goes on up front. It's like we see a bunch of big, strong guys, but precision is really important too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we, we do a lot of work with that. We do tons of drills. I mean, if you come out to our practices, that's what you're going to see is us doing drills. And mm -hmm. I mean, you just pound that in our heads over and over again. And eventually, you know, we're going to be technical and sound mm -hmm. for the whole season. As far as opportunities for new players to step in, how about defense for starters? All 11 starters from last year's squad graduated. It's been really good. I mean, a lot of people out here over the summer are putting in the work. I think everybody's worked hard and we should be ready to go. Mm -hmm. And people have really stepped up to fill the holes, and we're looking good. Mm -hmm. So really, there's no need to like hit the panic button on that side of the ball because I mean you've been there and done it. And uh, I mean this 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 team this is becoming a program. You know, like uh, every year you guys are, are are really good. So is that something that kind of speaks to you as you you become one of those guys? Right. Yeah. And the coaches are a big part of that too, helping people learn the position. I mean, we've had people switch from offense to defense to fill spots, and everybody's doing a really good job. And that's a sign of what a program is too. So that's got to be pretty fulfilling for you that uh, hey, you've been able to sustain that over. Yeah. A absolutely. Of got great coaches, uh, great coaching staff. Uh, some of the guys that even play for me. I got great kids. A lot of support from the administration, from the families. A lot of excitement here, which is good. Um, we do things, try and do things the right way. You know, um, keep everything in perspective. You know, our philosophy is total effort, and uh, you know, we hammer on those things not only here at practice, but in school, outside of school, in the community, in your family, faith, all those types of things. Because uh, you know, sometimes we get wrapped up in uh, this, these types of things and uh, carried away. But, uh, you know, keep things in perspective. It's high school football, and there's a lot of lessons to be learned. And, you know, we're in that business as well, regardless of what people want to say. Mm -hmm. You're still in that business of relationships, trying to mold young men and, uh, you know, improve yourself, uh, you know, not only as a football player or a coach, but a human being as well. And remember, Spartan coaches and athletes, we've got Fellowship of Christian Athletes on your campus. We've got a weekly coaches Bible study and an all-school huddle as well. You can contact Coach Royer for more information on how you can get connected with FCA.
Next, you guys rotate in next flight. Stay the heck out of the way.